It's a classic hero story, you know. Uh, it's about finding out who you are as a person. It's big, it's crazy, it's funny. It's a very human story that, that's gonna touch and affect you. From the minute the audience walks into the theater, from the minute they hear the words, house is open, and go through the turnstile into London Below, I want them to feel transported. This is just 32, I think it's 32 characters total, played by 11 performers. I am Paula Rhodes, and I play Lady Dora. My name is Brian Krasner, and my main character is Mr. Vandemar. I'm doing like martial arts staff fighting. I get into multiple brawls. All of them are just fantastic. They're just fantastic, colorful, um, alive characters. They've got dirt under their fingernails. After my success with, uh, with ElfQuest, which was a comic book I loved growing up, and, and being able to make that into a fan trailer that then got us to film in TV rights, and I got to be one of my favorite characters, uh, it was sort of like, oh, I probably already got my golden ticket here. Like, I don't know if I can possibly get another of my top five fandom roles. But when Michael posted about auditions for Neverwhere, I kind of had that minor moment of, oh my gosh, I've loved this story for so long. There's so many locations that I was never going to be able to give all of those their due. And so I decided pretty early on to make it an abstract set. I think the script is 72 pages, and then I think when I broke it down, there were 38 scenes or little moments. And I'm like, so you're not in any place more than two pages before you're, you know, across the universe. Lee Bontecue has always been an artistic hero of mine also. She's an artist who works primarily in wire and canvas sculptures. How do I do a bridge that appears out of nowhere? How do I do, uh, you know, a, a beast, you know, fighting and, and, and spear fighting? Like Robin Hood, Perry Frost. To try and put that all together and still tell a story that has humor, heart. I started by rereading the novel reading the script, reading the graphic novel, sort of immersing myself in the world first. There's been so much to kind of draw from information to kind of build a foundation for, these, for this character because there's just so many blogs of people writing about their take on these, you know, in the comic world. The book has been the sort of source, source bible for you know, whatever's going on. We kind of reference that. Um, at the same time, we're doing our own little tweaks here and there to tell, you know, it's it's our, te our telling of the story. I love the fact that it's the West Coast premiere and we're getting to share it for the first time live with people. And that it has, you know, it's spoken to so many people. It has this fan base that is, is rabid for it, so that's exciting. I think we're really, we're bringing the fantasy. I think we're really going for the fantasy of it. Welding and fabric work and huge structures in, in 99 Seat Theater. They'll dig it. If they like the novel, they'll love it. They'll love it. I promise. I promise. I think you'll be really happily surprised if you were like, oh, they'll never be able to pull off what I have in my head. And of course, not everything that everybody um, imagines will be before them, but uh, I think a lot of it will. Get ready to be transported. <laughs>